these are hibiscus flowers that I'm about to eat. Like, and it looks and smells just how it's supposed to. So let's get in there. No, no, that ain't no damn flowers. <laughs> Those are flowers, yeah. <laughs> me Brittany aka Pineapple Vegan and today we are at Nuno's Tacos and as some of you may or may not know Nuno's used to be a vendor at the Dallas Farmers Market but your boy done came up he's doing big things he has a brick and mortar and he's working on his second location I'm here to review some of his amazing food for you guys and I cannot wait because your girl is hungry I'm wasting the weight of nothing so let's go ahead and go in and check it out and I can't wait to show y'all this bomb ass food let's go Okay guys, so first up is the taco bowl, like a taco salad, but what I'm loving is this puffy shell that they have, and so they have like their vegan um, ground meat, taco style ground meat, they have pico, fresh guacamole on top, this pepper, I see cheese, lettuce, I'm pretty sure there's more goodness underneath, honestly, I just want to taste it, so I'm about to stop talking, okay? Let's go ahead and get in there. So I want to break off a piece of the crust first. It tastes like, like a donut kind of, but not sweet, which is a good thing. Mm-hmm. Let's get into the goodness. Y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm about to go find him real quick. Cause this is bomb. Yeah, man. So this is the man. What's up with it, you know? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having us yeah. today. Thank and you. Thank I'm for so coming out. proud of you. This is so dope. Thank Food's you. always been bomb, but I, it seemed like the happier you are, the better it tastes. Yeah. Because damn. <laughs> <laughs> First off, how long have you been vegan? Eight years this month. Eight? Eight years this month. Yep, exactly. So we came in basically for his anniversary month <laughs> for veganism. That's right. What made you go vegan? My pops did. Mm -hmm. My pops did. Yeah, now for people who don't know, who's your pops? My pops is the founder of El Palote. El Palote. So you guys are probably familiar with that. If you're not, that's another amazing Mexican restaurant. And you used to um, cook with him and stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. But my my wife and I were owners there with my parents, mm -hmm. um, so I learned, I grew up in the kitchen with them, so I learned all the uh, ins and outs, and then uh, I put in my own creativity, mm -hmm. you know, to get to the point where we're at right now with doing those tacos. So authentic, like, it does not taste, I know, I know it's like, how does vegan food taste, but it does not taste like it's not me, if that makes any sense. For those of you who, are, who crave that taste or texture or consistency, there's no difference. The only difference is that you're not eating bodies, okay? <laughs> so what? This is my taco salad. This is your... These are the uh, roasted poblano enchiladas. They look so with, good. With uh, a chicken, uh, vegan chicken jackfruit uh, filling. Mm -hmm. We got a torta, picadillo torta, Ooh. with some of our house-made crema. Uh, we have some tacos here. We have the cactus taco, we have a uh, hibiscus uh, barbacoa taco, we have an al pastor taco, and I want to say the other one is bistec ranchero. Oh my gosh. So yeah, y'all, we're about to go in. I don't know if I'm going to be able to walk out of here. My girlish figure is going to be gone by the time we leave. <laughs> let's get in there. Okay, so let's try the torta first. Now what all is in here? Oh uh, in the torta, so we have our picadillo, which is the same as uh, the taco bowl. Uh -huh. Picadillo has become recently uh, a top seller for us. Mm -hmm. 
It's actually not even on the menu yet. I need to, yeah, I need to redo our menu to add that to the menu. But the people who do know are keeping us busy with this, uh, with this protein right here. There's a variety of picadillos depending on what region you're from. Mexico, mm -hmm. my picadillo gives it more of a Tex-Mex, American Tex-Mex uh, taste to it. Mm -hmm. So. For those of you that enjoyed Tex-Mex before you were vegan, you'll definitely enjoy the picadillo. Now, let me try the torta. Yeah, put some, oh my yeah, put some crema. Put some crema. Oh my damn. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't even want to eat nothing else. Yeah, that, that you know it's different good. Cake, right? <laughs> yeah, it gives it that extra cake. Yeah. So, so. He knows it's good. Yeah. Wait, I looked up and he's like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you know your food is good. Okay, one more bite and I'm gonna go through something else. Oh my God. I'm gonna eat it out my lap. Mmm, y'all, this is really good. So highly recommend the torta. <laughs> Let's do the enchiladas. You said this is jackfruit chicken inside? Yes. Okay. It's jackfruit chicken. It's a chipotle jackfruit chicken. Mm hmm. I'm ready. Let's do this one. You see the steam? Because it's fresh. Mm. Oh, snap. It's like savory, then it has like a sweet little kick to it. Mm hmm. This is bomb. This is jackfruit. That's jackfruit, yeah. Jackfruit. You know how sometimes jackfruit it has like a um the brine taste. Yes. So I have figured out a way to take the brine taste out of out of the jackfruit. So it took me a, a while to figure it out, but there is a way to take the brine flavor out. Good. Yeah. Each thing has its own combination of flavors. There is nothing is bland. You can eat the rice by itself. You can eat the refried beans by itself. You can eat that by itself, but together, it's like an explosion in your mouth. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> this is bomb. Like, I would legit just be fat. This is what I thought was gonna be my favorite part, but so far, I'm impressed with everything that I've tried, and I don't know what I'm gonna keep to myself and what I'm gonna share, because my husband's behind the camera, and my brother's right here. So, oh, you didn't think you were gonna be on okay? camera? I'm just waiting for you to finish. <laughs> okay, so now the tacos. Now, please tell me each one again. So these are our nopalitos. Mm -hmm. uh, both of these are up store. Okay. And that is barbacoa Jamaica, which is a Jamaica flour, hibiscus flour barbacoa. Oh, I'm trying that one first. So, this is like a hibiscus flour? It's the hibiscus flour. So, if you can look at it, it kind of it looks like meat, you know? It yeah, it like does. Barbacoa. It does. Those are flowers. Oh my god. Meat flowers. Oh, these are flowers, y'all. Hibiscus flour, yes. Yeah. So oh my god. This is gosh. not something I invented. This is very well known in rural parts of southern Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, because the price of meat is so so high, people in rural parts of, you know, even other parts of the world, you know, they figure out a way to make plants, Taste you know, like edible, you, you know, to where you can eat them and enjoy it, you know, and this is something that's, that's very common in Mexico City and southern Mexico. We give it the beef flavor to that with uh, fermented tomatoes. So we ferment tomatoes to make it have that taste. No, y'all, I know it's little, but I'm gonna take another bite because I want to make sure that it's good. <laughs> mm. Now this one. Those are the uh, baby cactus. Baby cactus. I've never had this. With cheese corn flour. With cheese corn flour. I've never had baby cactus I'll before. Get, let me tell you what the history behind it. Okay. Before you take a bite. Okay, tell me. So this recipe is actually my grandmother's and actually a lot of this is inspired by my grandmother growing up watching my grandmother cook. But this is something that when I lived with them as a child, this is something that she would make me and it was, it was comfort food for me, you know? It was one of the best things in, in my childhood growing up watching her cook and then waiting uh, for it to come out. But it's it's uh, masa flour, so corn flour with uh, a vegan mozzarella 
some spices and baby cactus. Very simple, but you know, when when uh, times are tough, and this goes again for any community, any people around the world, I mean, they figure out ways to make something, taste good, something simple, something cheap to taste really good. And this is it right here. This is a, another first for me, and this was a very successful experience. So I'm gonna try this one now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> this is a cactus? Yeah. Y'all, this is fire. This is so good. Mmm. I would have never thought. This is really good. Okay. Okay, you know. You got me trying new stuff. I feel all cultured now. <laughs> Let's try this one. Now, this is the most common one. The Alpha Store. Al Alpha Store is like yeah. the safe one for everybody, everybody. in Tex Mex. They yeah. always get Alpha Store. And this is Mexico City style Alpha Store. Depending where you're at from Mexico, there's different types of Alpha Store. Now, this is your house made Satan? Uh, this is our house made at uh, 70%. Uh, soy, divided soy flour, 30% mm -hmm. vital wheat gluten. Oh, okay. Sounds like both, but. Mm -hmm. See, I've had your Alpha store before. Yeah. It always hits. Very good. Very smoky. Mmm. Okay. I'm cheating because I know how this tastes. Good, yeah, like always. This is very delicious. I'm already getting full. I'm going to keep eating because I haven't had this food in a while and I've been craving it for weeks. This is just a little bit of what he has to offer. He has so many options. Everything is delicious, like from what I've tasted so far. And I've tried new things today. And I'm very proud of you, you know, like. It means a lot. You can tell that he cares about his business because every bite that I took, I could taste the time that they put into making everything taste perfect, you guys. So if you ever are in like Richardson, Dallas area, this is worth a drive as well. Even if you live in Fort Worth, bring your ass out here to Nuno and support them. This food is bomb and you will not leave unsatisfied. Everything is delicious. So definitely check them out, you guys. And thank you again for having us. And I love this, bro. Like, you're dope, you're dope. I gotta hug you, man. Thank you. All right, you guys, so this food is about to get demolished. You heard it from Nuno himself. Exactly what everything is, what's in it, how he made it, how he discovered it, the history behind it. I love the fact that he's bringing a piece of his family and his history into this for us. Like he's sharing his childhood with us and that's so dope, y'all. So definitely come through and check out Nuno's. And I hope you guys are as, as satisfied as I am. And as always, I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, click that notification button so you'll be notified when I upload another video. And until next time, thank you guys. I'll see you later.